So with everything assembled, that's a look at the shadow box. And these are all the tiny elements that have been fixed together to create some 3D elements to decorate the shadow box. So there's some chandeliers, some candle stand, mini box, grandfather clock, a fireplace. That's the clock, the rocking chair, a chest of drawers. So these would be fantastic for the decoration. Some just decorative MDF elements. So now the first step before really doing anything is to coat everything and prime it with white gesso. So I'm just going to go off camera to do this because it's something that you all are aware of. Just give it a nice coat of white gesso. So now all the pieces are prepped with a light coat of gesso. Now my first step, I am going to use the metallic heavenly paint and coat the sides of the entire shadow box. Once that's dry, I'll use the 3D gel with glitter and silver with the stencil to give some texture all on the sides. So first I'll be working on the sides. So let's begin. Now time to add the 3D gel through the stencil and I decided that while that gel is wet I'll also sprinkle a bit of this embossing powder on it so that I get an extra layer of texture. That's a look at that beautiful texture, that shine for the side. So just finish this on the rest of the sides as well. Putting the shadow box aside, I'm going to be working on these small 3D elements. So on the elements that have a nice flat base I'm going to use this winter theme stickers and just add some sticker elements to them to sort of decorate so I'm just going to see what fits and uh, start adhering those stickers to these small cute 3d elements Now I'm just going to use these different metallic paints that I have as well as the shimmer paint uh, white to decorate all these tiny pieces and give them a nice wintery vintage furniture look. I'll also be painting the other pieces, the candles and the chandelier and the clock and everything just to create this lovely effect.
Okay, next now we will be working uh, within the shadow box. For this, I'm just going to use the lighter blue that I have, the blue shabby metallic blue and give a nice coat to all the compartments of the shadow box inside. So quickly, using a paintbrush, let's paint our first color inside the box. Now with that done, let's add some more color and texture. So just using the metallic forest green paint and lightly adding it to the brush, let's give some brush strokes to each compartment but only on the side, not the base, not the part that will form our wall. So just on the sides, lightly I'm going to be giving these brush strokes. Now, only on the biggest compartment of the shadow box, I'm placing the stencil on the base and using the silver color to just add a another element of texture to it. So that will be my highlight wall of this entire shadow box. So that will have some nice texture and dimension. And now I'm just going to use the same silver and uh, complete these edges that look a bit unfinished. So now uh, just using all these elements, let's start decorating the shadow box. So I'm going to use some of the stickers and add some elements as a backdrop. So just adding these ornaments here in the biggest compartment and then I'll start gluing down the 3D elements. So as I'm just going to be working on the composition, it's just something simple as you like where you want to place something. And just adding some of these uh, die cut pieces, the badge, the stickers and all the MDF elements to decorate. Here I'm just using the enamel dots to create a string for these ornaments that I've stuck on the shadow box. I'll also be using the same to color the decorative MDF element. It's pretty simple. All you need to do is just add the enamel accent from the tube directly onto the MDF piece. So once they dry, this is what they look like. I'll be using the Fabrica Decuro Universal Glue to just glue down all these 3D elements into my shadow box. Uh, it's difficult to film this process but uh, this is the vague arrangement that I've decided. So now I'm just going to go off camera and glue them all down.
I made two winter themed mixed media tags using the Fritini flowers that I received. So I first used some white gesso and prepped my background. I then used the Fabrica de Kuru 3D gel silver through a stencil to add the first layer of texture. I then used the Fabrica de Kuru paints, shabby rose and blue shabby through a different stencil and then I added the silver embossing powder by Fabrica de Kuru and heat set it. I then used the enamel dots forest green to add some more texture to my tags. I added the Fritini flowers as my focal element and completed the tags with a sentiment from the die cut received by Fabrica de Kuru. So that's a look at those tags that I've created for this hop. Do hop along with us to enter to win some fabulous prizes. All you have to do is like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave a comment and check out our uh, sponsor Fabrica de Kuru's YouTube channel and subscribe to them as well. Thank you and bye-bye.